Okay, hello viewers. We got to talk about a couple of things going on in the news. Some of my friends have sent me some stories that I, I feel like I need to talk about. So um, we're gonna get started with it, I guess. And it's just very upsetting things going on at the federal level. Okay, so um, we're gonna first talk about this. Uh, news 12 did cover this. Uh, and this is what I mean about funding cuts and we're going to talk about that's what this video is going to be about is that we need help from Washington and uh, Trump and Mitch McConnell are pieces of pandemic funding cuts leave lasting effect on programs for those with intellectual and developmental mental disabilities so this says the COVID-19 pandemic could keep Long Island residents with intellectual and dis developmental disabilities from getting the care that they need Mary Fleisch is the sole caregiver for her 53-year-old brother, Charlie Fleisch, who was born with cerebral palsy. He attends the Life Options Day program at CP Nassau five days a week and has been for the past 20 years. But now that program and many others like it may be in jeopardy because of funding cuts from the state. Okay, so this is the state now that's deciding to cut this. So we can also blame Andrew Cuomo. His programming is looking at a $3 million to $4 million shortfall. Every year, the disabled community has to fight with the government due to budget cuts. Uh, and he uses an eye device to type out his feelings. It is unfathomable. It sure is unfathomable. It was scheduled to reopen on August 10th, but because of the cuts, the executive director bluntly says now they're operating at a larger capacity than originally intended. If we don't see a change in the next three to six months that we can predict and plan to be able to sustain our day program, the program will have to be uh, cut. Uh, this is horrible. So Cuomo, I mean, what is wrong with Cuomo? I, I don't understand. It's like this is what I'm talking about. Whenever there's a deficit, it is always the disabled. It is always the poor. It is always the minorities that have to suffer. And yet the rich rarely ever have to suffer. All right? And I'm worried about what, what's going to happen at the MTA with the budget cuts. It's going to leave a lot of people stranded. And there's no help from Washington coming. There's none. There's none. There's none. Trump dismisses virus aid for cities, lashes at GO, GOP. And McConnell, he doesn't, his, the Republican version of the budget doesn't even include, uh, I'll put, states see no aid from Senate GOP. No aid because of Mitch McConnell. Yes, Mitch McConnell, you're a piece. Another top report reached a $1 trillion package. Oh, uh, please. All right, whatever. They're not going to let me read it, but you get the idea. So that means the MTA is going to have deficits. It means there's going to be massive transit cuts and fare hikes like the like we've never seen because of Mitch McConnell. And then we come to Trump. Dismisses virus aids for cities. The, the Trump. This, you're, you're, of all the people we're going to be mad at in our government right now, this man here is by far the worst. I, he's not even a human being as far as I'm concerned. He's dismissed Democratic demands to include aid for cash-strapped cities in a new coronavirus relief package. Even lashed out as its own party. This president is evil. Complained about big bailout money for cities. It is because of you, Mr. Trump, that New York City was hit hard because you didn't stop the planes from coming and sending the virus here. So this president is absolutely the worst president ever in the history of this country. The worst. And then you have Mitch McConnell. Oh, and we're not done yet with Mr. Trump here. Hold on, we're not done yet. Because Trump says suburban residents will no longer be bothered by the housing rule. Yeah, he wants to make it harder to get a, affordable housing in the suburbs. So a measure meant to combat discrimination and segregation faces an uncertain future after President Donald Trump said it hurt the suburban dream. He spoke about Wednesday about his decision to put an end to the 2015 affirmatively furthering fair housing rule, which required local governments to ensure fair housing in order to receive federal housing funding. So he took to Twitter today, and uh, it doesn't show his tweet here, uh, but it says uh, he took to Twitter to say he was happy to inform all the people living their suburban lifestyle dream that you will no longer be bothered or financially hurt by having low-income housing 
built in your neighborhood. We rescinded the rule three days ago, so enjoy your life, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your life. I, I cannot believe this man is the president of the United States. Uh, it's unbelievable. I so regret voting. I, I mean, everybody who voted for him should regret it by now. How can anyone still support this president? How can anyone still support this president? It doesn't show his tweet on here, but this guy is, is out of control. Let's see if we can find it. Trump tweet Twitter. We'll have to go to his Twitter. I will have to look at it here. Show you what he said. This is the one. And look, 154.4 thousand likes. So you have a lot of people out there. This guy is literally... He just wants to, to 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 basically destroy us. All right, this guy make he makes me sick, and he's only getting meaner and nastier as the time goes on. And then you have Mitch McConnell, a sabotage of the next coronavirus bill. You are heartless. You have no morals at all whatsoever. You're not even a human being. He's not even human. Just like the president, he's not human. He's not human. Give me a break. He doesn't care that people are going to be stranded. He doesn't care that, that people in New York City are, are, are going to be stranded when the half the subway service gets cut. He doesn't care. News 12 spent some time talking about it, but what are they really talking about? The sharks at the beaches because they affect the South Shore. Dolphin found in East River, East Rockaway River. They did lead with the Trump story, though, tonight. I'll, I'll say that. I'm glad they did lead with that. But that, a certain demographic is probably very happy about that. Because we all know a certain demographic doesn't even think I need to deserve to live on Long Island anymore. We all know they want me to live in New Jersey. We all know that already. And this, this happened to a bike gang of kids harassed people at a Port Jeff CrossFit in a Wendy's in Port Jefferson Station. A group of about 20 teenagers, News 12 didn't even cover this, on bicycles was involved in a pair of disturbances Thursday in Port Jefferson Station. So this happened uh, this past Thursday. He had an altercation with the staff of CrossFit DHP on Patchogue Road. Officers responded. Then they headed to the Wendy's on Nesconset Highway, where they threw drinks and cursed to customers in the parking lot. They harassed people at the gym. They threw a barbell at a, at my house. I thought gyms were closed, but maybe uh, maybe that one. I don't know. Some gyms I think have an outdoor. Uh, workout areas so they can have that. Uh, and the, the man tells the police will be called and then they and, and then they threaten they threaten the man and then they shatter profanities at the adults. You want to throw my bikes? You're so tough to touch a fifth. And then they, and then they went to Wendy, Wendy's after. These are the gym owners providing their side of the story there. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but uh, a, you can look at the article. This is like a wilding thing that happened here. A wilding thing that happened in, in Port Jefferson. This is what's happening. This is what's happening in our communities. Well, you know, by and large, the people on the South Shore avoid most of this, of course. But it's all about the rich. That's the bottom line. And then what gets dumped in, in, in Jericho? A, 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 a extended stay hotel is going to be dumped there, and there's going to be more criminals being put in there. So they can ruin that neighborhood and drive us to New Jersey, because that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. They're going to cut my cut my transit. They'll cut my programs, and they're going to say, "Sorry, you got to live in New Jersey. Long Island is only for rich people now." Really, really. When it comes to people like Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell, they are the absolute worst of the worst. All right, Manny Cuomo for a lot of things. Um, I mean, Cuomo doesn't really care that much about us either, but the enemy, the real enemy, is the president and 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 Mitch McConnell, uh, because if they get away with what they're doing, uh, our lives are going to be made so much harder, so much harder. And they screwed up the whole coronavirus response, and they're telling us, "Sorry, you're on your own. Sorry, you're on your own. You can go live in New Jersey. Go ahead and live in New Jersey. That's what they want. This is the purge, and Trump is a big part of it." And Cuomo is part of it too. They're all they're all in on this, man. They're all in on it to screw us. Um, 
and uh, I had to talk about it. And the, the last thing that I'm going to talk about that I almost forgot to talk about, the intimidation I continue to get on my YouTube channel from a certain demographic. Some of these videos really, look, look at this one here, Some Life in Lindbrook. I didn't say anything bad about Lindbrook at all. Twelve dislikes. Twelve dislikes. I guess they didn't like that I went to the South Shore. They don't feel I even have a right. Look, ten dislikes on this weather video. We all know who's behind this. We all know what demographics behind all this stuff. We all know it. And, and, and Trump, Trump is the one that emboldened them more than any, anybody. More than Cuomo. More than uh, anyone. Sorry about those microphone problems there. Hopefully it sounds better now. Um, just to give my final thoughts on this. Because uh, I had to edit some of this video because of that. <laughs> but um, it, it's just horrible what's happening. Uh, and, you know, it, it just makes me so mad that time and time again... It is the people who have the least who have to sacrifice the most when there is a disaster or a pandemic or anything. And it should never be that way. Uh, and, you know, and, and this whole thing, I mean, it, it's just all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan for us. Uh, you know, they want to make, Trump saying what he said pretty much says, want to make Long Island a place where only the rich people can live. And the only that that's the only the nice places those those lily white finest professionals get to be mostly safe in their enclaves, while the rest of us are going to deal with the crime, like what we uh, what I just read there in Port Jefferson, uh, and to the, and the, and those those hotels where they're dumping the homeless, they're going to dump the ex-cons in there. Many of these have many of these people have criminal records. As an example, let me tell you what happened to me tonight. Didn't take a video of it, but I took the bus. I did. I took a bus that I don't normally take going back from the South Shore. The one that goes from Freeport to Mineola, it wasn't that crowded. It was, I mean, we threw a decent amount of people and it wasn't packed. But we get these two people that look like ex-cons, druggies that get on the bus in Freeport to argue with each other. Uh, it was a couple, a man and a woman, arguing with each other over drug, about, about money, uh, about, uh, you know, trying to avoid getting caught by probation, about the hotel they're staying at. And they take, they, take, they take the bus all the way to Mineola. So they're staying in a hotel somewhere around Mineola. Isn't that just lovely? That's what they're putting in our area. And these, you could tell these, these were ex-cons. You could tell by the way they were looking. Then we pull into Mineola. Luckily, Garden City was actually doing very well. Actually, the restaurants were very busy. I pull into Mineola, and there's no less than a 10 or 15 guys uh, dressed in, in, in white tank tops and black shorts. Uh, look like they are up to, all up to no good. We're just walking right in the middle. They weren't walking right in the middle of the uh, bus terminal, like where the buses drive, you know, at Mineola. So this is what we got to deal with. And they just want to make our lives harder and harder and harder, one way or another, whether it be the crime, whether it be cutting my public transportation, whether it could be cutting the mental health services I receive, uh, or even in the worst case scenario, getting rid of my housing program completely. Um, this, is, uh, this, is what we, this is what they're doing to us. Uh, while the rich people, they're not hardly sacrificing at all. Um, and uh, it's it's not right. Um, if I was the governor right now, uh, if I was the president, first of all, I would approve that funding. Uh, I wouldn't be playing around with this, you know. Um, but we know the president is heartless. He's not human. Uh, you know that the president, he has like an oval mouth. Well, this is a joke I have. And, and the, the, I honestly, him and Turtle Face, Mitch McConnell, are two. You, you ever wonder what happened in Roswell and why there was such a big cover-up? is because Trump, uh, it was an experiment that horribly went wrong. And so that's why he has the oval mouth like an alien, because he's not really human, he's part alien. Uh, and, and McConnell, too, a turtle somehow got in there. And when they were messing around, when they were trying to re-engineer the, the spacecraft that crashed in Roswell, and, uh, and that, that's what you got. You got, you got these two, these two uh, evil aliens uh, out of it. A horrible experiment that happened there. <laughs> That's the joke. You have to laugh about it sometimes. You really do, because these people are so bad. But Cuomo doesn't get off easy. Look, uh, I think Cuomo handled things very well in the beginning, but I think, like I said, I think, I think that he now, as the governor, needs to prepare that we might not get the funding and make the changes to the state budget that he needs to make. And that would mean there are several revenue options you could do. Uh, I would raise taxes on those making over $100,000. I would, uh, I would tax the vehicles, like luxury vehicles. Uh, if you want to drive a luxury vehicle, uh, it's going to cost you an additional $1,000 each year in taxes, uh, this kind of stuff. 
you know it, it, you know the rich people uh, they, they can afford it they can they can deal with it people who have very little can uh, but we see this time and time again uh, this is what happens uh, this is the way society in this country likes to function um, now I don't New Jersey at least Phil Murphy's saying he's going to borrow uh, which isn't the best thing but at least he's avoiding that but I don't want to have to live in New Jersey I don't ever want Long Island is my home I can't imagine living anywhere else but this is what the certain demographic wants to do. And I want to give a thanks to Andy's randomness. I'm going to plug his video here in the cards. He made a video about it, too, uh, because this is what they want to do. And then they intimidate us and thumbs down our videos and they troll videos. This is what they're all about. And Lindbrook really, I don't know, whatever reason is, Lindbrook really, that video really got a lot of uh, dislikes of, for no freaking reason. I don't know why. I didn't say anything. It was just a video of me walking through Lindbrook and traveling to Lindbrook. And saying that it was suffering a little bit, but it was still doing okay, you know. But I guess Lindbrook is one of even uh, one of those enclaves, you know. You can't, you can't. They don't even want you going down there. Uh, sorry, you're not from here, so you can't come here. That's the way these people think. Well, it's too bad. It's a free country. I can go at every town I want and visit for the day. It's too bad if you don't like it. So um, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, this year just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. But hopefully. Uh, guys, I know a lot of you don't like Cuomo and Murphy and what they've done, but uh, the most important thing right now is getting Donald Trump out of office. Uh, that is the number one thing we got to do this November. Uh, I believe that all these things that we're experiencing are punishment for electing Donald Trump personally. And uh, if he gets another four more years, who knows what kind of disasters are going to come next. So uh, that is going to be it for this video. Take care and thank you for watching.